Hi, and welcome to Community Hotline. I'm Monica Weitzel. We're here at Metro East Community Media in Gresham, Oregon. Today we have a couple of wonderful women that are joining us to talk about their organizations. First, we have the, uh, the Gresham Senior Center, and representing the Gresham Senior Center is our director, Joyce Wood. Thanks for being here, Joyce. Hi, Monica. <laughs> Thanks for coming all the way here. It's well, what, I went home and came back. The Gresham yeah. Senior Center is what, a block from here? Yeah, well, I only have to work till 3, so oh, you know, so you had some time. I had time to go feed the dogs. Well, so. good. Yeah. I'm glad you're here. Now, you're, you're fairly new in the position of director, aren't you? How long have you been a director? Well, apparently there have been directors at the Senior Center for many, many years, uh, but they were most recently all volunteer. Uh -huh. So when they lost the person who was volunteering and spending every day there uh, a couple years ago they decided they needed to hire someone so they did hire me and i just got promoted from office manager to director Ooh, this last month yeah nice. yeah nice. so with new uh, a board of directors, well, a couple of new members and new president. You're just kind of shaking it up down there, then. Yeah, huh? Louise yeah. Whittingham is our new I president. Love Louise. And Louise is great. She is a mover and shaker. Yes, yeah, she, sure. she, yes. is. she is. She is. She is. So, as director, then, what what what's uh, what's going on at the Gresham Senior Center? Well, there are all kinds of things going on. We have probably 400 members. That Not that they're center, all there that? at the same time. I mean, compared of to other senior centers, is that? I don't know. I can't say they're all active members, but they're you know we have their names and addresses and phone numbers. <laughs> okay. We can get in touch with them, <laughs> okay. um, and so we offer just a range of classes. Tai Chi being our for arthritis being yeah. our most popular class. That is, that's a and good one for any age, isn't it? Absolutely, and yeah. the instructors are highly trained and you know certified and you know by the Arthritis Foundation. Oh, that's great. So, yeah, it's a great program. And then we have, you know, hand and foot cards. Canasta? Yeah, what is that? I, I never, I don't, don't ask me, don't ask me, I don't yeah. know Canasta. Pinochle, um, I know Pinochle. Pinochle, we've got I that too. I threatening to come down there and play some Pinochle. <laughs> well, then we, you should, you yeah. should come down. Yeah, it would be fun. Anyway, it's only about four tables, you could take them. Okay. For sure. <laughs> okay. But we have a I'm Tuesday, encouraged. we have a Tuesday night dance every Tuesday. The, the you have it on Tuesdays, how odd. Tuesday nights. That's yeah. the night that the Multnomah County East Building is open late. Oh, okay. So we take advantage of the fact that there's security in the evening and we don't have to pay for it. So, uh, so, so tell me about the dances. Do you get a lot of people show up to those? You know, probably between 50 and 65, 70 people. That's actually quite a few Every week. People. That's there's some amazing. people who are there every single week. And, and the music is the music is rather Western okay. style, you know, nothing too. You get people out there line dancing. We have a line dancing class. Oh, and, I love and it. And they, you know, and they they travel around and perform at uh, different really? facilities. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yep, they do. And what else do we have? Um, oh, toll painting mm -hmm. and um, you have some, oh, like, bingo sewing and knitting and, groups too. Yes, we do. We have an incredible quilting. Oh class yeah. and in fact the quilting room the sewing room last year um, paid for a long arm quilting machine oh, which is wow. a big deal so they can they are now finishing quilts for people in the community wow so does that provide and a little extra really funding great, for the yes, senior center yes it does but it also um, is a great service there are a lot of people out there with pieces uh -huh. of of, uh, of that, quilts that, that in don't, the hope chest of grandmas or something exactly and yeah. don't want to have to do the tying and the finishing yeah. part of it and so for a really good deal they get that done there that's wonderful and that's we nice have all volunteers know. who work through that program midge Nashiadka, mm -hmm. who uh, sounds like she's Russian, but she's actually from Hawaii. Okay, then. Um, they had I a luau Nashiata. at the senior center last week, oh, and fun. with with traditional Hawaiian dancing and uh, Kalua pig and mm. the whole nine yards. I haven't had dinner yet. <laughs> sorry, <laughs> sorry, sorry about that. Um, <laughs> Speaking of food, um, they can. Uh, there are meals down there, like through meals. Uh, meals on meals wheels. On wheels. They're <laughs> now called Meals on Wheels people. Oh, that's okay, their official name, and they're down the hall from us. Yeah. So yes, so we uh, a lot of our seniors who come for classes um, th incorporate the lunch into that, which starts at eleven thirty, and it's three dollars for seniors, and it's a donation. So yeah, for people who can't afford it, they are fed anyway. That's a great so. deal. Now to get to the senior center, mm -hmm. can you use Ride Connection? Oh, you can. Who absolutely. is also in the same building? Yes, and then TriMet Lift also oh, okay. picks up and drops off a lot of people. Um, we have 
di some disabled people. There are a lot of different services for seniors mm -hmm. and some other community resources in the building. Uh, mostly, it's a county building. Right, right. So right. there's a medical floor and a dental floor and uh, aging and disability down the hall and the YWCA offers there. a lot of, you know, programs, um, support groups okay. for different medical okay, conditions. The same building. Oh. Yep. Yeah. Okay. So the the senior center, how, how old do you have to be to go to the senior center? <laughs> if you're willing to say you're a senior, <laughs> they'll take you. Yeah. It's like, you know, I mean, you know, I, I think it's getting stuff from ARP when you're 50, but yeah, then, you know, It's officially places. 55, That's but, mm -hmm, officially, but, <laughs> but um, it, we, we don't ask to see anybody's driver's license okay. anyway, so. Okay. I mean, yeah. some places, you know, like you go for, you, know, you want this in your discount, you have to be 62 or 65 mm -hmm. or, or whatever mm -hmm. else. But so. Well, we also have a lot of people we, that take trips with us or that go to um, Spirit Mountain Casino. Mm -hmm. We offer that on the second Tuesday of every month. I bet you get a group that goes down there and has a like, yeah, good time, huh? Fills up that bus. What's great about it is, I mean, the but we charge $5 for them to take the bus, but it's... Um, one of Spirit Mountain's buses. I see the park down there. Those are free anywhere in the city that you pick them up. Oh. However, they make all kinds of stops along the way. And our bus, since we fill it up, doesn't stop. It's straight up. through, straight on through. Wow, good yeah, deal. And they play bingo on the bus. Oh, that's fun. It's a whole day trip. And yeah. it, so anyway, for that event, Sometimes the seniors and it's five dollars for them to ride. Yes, I mean, you can't and, and the caregiver will go with. So that was people. my next question. If, so, if a caregiver wants to come to the senior center, yeah, with, and you know, if you have whomever. a wheelchair and you know, or if you want to bring services. your granddaughter with you or something like that, then you'd probably be welcome <laughs> or something. You know. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Why not? Yeah. Okay, I thought yeah. so. <laughs> um, you have a, a few pictures that um, that I think you provided us of just different things that are going on at the Senior Center. I'd like to take a look at those just so, you know, just so we can see some of the stuff okay, you guys do. Okay. See what kind of trouble you're really, really up to there All at the right. Senior Center. Let's see if we can take a look at those. Ah. A birthday party. Oh, I, Eileen Rutherford, her 90th birthday. Oh, how fun. Um, and she's moved over to Courtyard Fountains. Okay. So can people actually, like, reserve part of the space there to maybe have a birthday party? Does these that happen? Are, she happened to be at, vol these are people who are already oh, they're volunteers. All volunteers. Okay. Yeah, so they, she, they, she worked for many, many years uh, hand tying the knots in huge quilts. Oh, wow, that's the uh, job. So, uh, yeah, amazing work. And this amazing is some work. of the things, these are some of the things you sell then? Yes, right? and here's Vivian Moore, and she uh, makes all the table decorations for um, the luncheons, oh, for luncheons like and luau special, there or something. special occasions and for Meals on Wheels. Oh, great. Yeah, she and her husband, Bob, he comes in and plays pool. Oh. We have a pool. You have a pool table too, oh, okay. Yeah, and here's the oh. long arm quilter. and our, That's Joan. Yeah, that is Joan, Joan Porter, yeah, yeah, yeah. former president of the board, uh -huh. checking it out. Yeah, that was last year. Yep. And yep, the, everybody being serious, yeah, they, getting well, down to just, work. You should work on it. So they have some artwork there. Yeah. Yeah, they do a lot of artwork there. They, they do. Yeah. They do a lot of paint. This is oh. John Cecilani. I don't think I'm saying his name correctly, but no one seems to know oh. how to pronounce it. <laughs> John <laughs> and C. he played or accordion Elsa. for many, many years. Um, just recently had to give it up, Aww. but he would be over there at lunchtime. This is the Trillium Hall that we share with Loaves of Fishes, oh, okay. the Meals on Wheels people. Fun. Yeah. There's a lot of fun stuff going on there. Yes. Yeah, and you're open. What are your hours, days? We are open weekdays, 8.30 to 3. Okay, okay. So it's very so civilized. People can just drop in. Yes, right? they don't absolutely. Need yeah. okay. And and we do, um, we ask for donation, per uh, $2 donation per class, oh, okay. but oh, it is gee. not required. It is and, simply as you can. And that's so reasonable, if you you can, can. but you can pay it if you can. Yeah. So um, your funding, is that from the county? No, we don't. Yeah, well, do you not have we any say that we don't have any funding from the county. We are in a county building, and we have a, a special rate for our lease. Oh, okay. So that's we, the extent of it, though. Yes. Oh, and okay. so the, in, in, for that special rate, we um, man the, uh, uh, a shop. Right, right. What's, the right. Shop? That's, What's it called? It's called the Ambleside, Ambleside. Gift Ambleside, Shop. Yes, Ambleside. And uh, it's all original. Uh, we have probably 100 vendors who, um, who place their them. items in there. Some yes. of the items all provided all by handmade. people at the, at the senior center, too. Yes, right? indeed. Yeah. Most of them are seniors. But anyway, okay. handmade items. 
and they're wonderful and it's a great gift shop especially mm -hmm. if you're shopping for baby gift yes. oh, it's the yes. perfect place yes. perfect place and then we also we also supply we make sure we have a reception person on the reception desk oh, okay. for the east end of the building um, oh, okay. So, so yeah. you know, we're, we have to be knowledgeable about everything that's going on in the building, and it's very challenging because like we don't always know. Give and take. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's a, it's a nice building, and they have a lot of parking there too. Yes, they do. Yeah, they do. It's very convenient, and it's right by the Max station. It's been there about twelve years. Yeah. The, the yeah. senior center is forty-five years old. Did you wow. know that? Huh. Yeah, working on that fifty years, wow. but it has been in that building huh? since the. Oh, yeah. Yeah. We're getting in the planning stage on that one. Fun. <laughs> yeah, fun. Right away. Well, so the funding then you you get. You survive mostly on donations. We do. And how? We have fundraisers, donations from private citizens, um, and and our class revenues. Oh, okay. So tell me about your fundraisers. What, what, do, you, what do you have coming up? Well, we have certain ones we do every year, mm -hmm. that the biggies. We have, um, in January, there's a dollar sale. I have been, I have, I have purchased cool. wonderful things at the dollar. I have purchased things I've worn on this show from the dollar <laughs> sale. Yes. I have. So that yeah. happens every year. Then we have a Mother's Day luncheon. Right. That happens on mother, you know, on Mother's is Day it a weekend. Tea or is it, no, is it, it used it to be a tea. Yeah, now it's a full okay. lunch. They decided, you know, just tea um, wasn't enough. <laughs> well, well, tea and sugar items were. Uh, after a while, people got tired of that, and and yeah. some of them couldn't have it. Oh, so yeah. Um, yeah. Okay. they get a full lunch. Uh, the sewing room sponsors that okay. event. Then when we move, we move into the summer. Well, we do book sales mm -hmm. and things like that, small things and bake sales, and then um, in the fall. We have a fashion show, mm. which, yes. which that would be that, coming up fairly soon since the fall. Yes, right, unfortunately, this, around this the corner. Year, it's called Putting on the Ritz. Ah, fun. It's the uh, second Saturday, uh, the fourteenth of September. September, and it's at Courtyard Fountains. Okay, they Just are the, our. Yeah, the street, they partner with us, and this is the second year that they have um, had the event at their in their beautiful dining room, which oh, is two nice. story with a huge staircase and all the models coming down. Oh, and it's just perfect nice. sight lines, and they have all these young um, staff, wait staff, running around taking care of all the tables, and it's it's oh, a it terrific lovely. and wonderful but beautiful food. Who, so, um, does the courtyard provide the food for that? They do. Who who, uh, who are the models? They are seniors. Are they that of our acquaintance okay. and some who have done it for many, many years? Did you um, have pictures? Did you bring pictures of last year? Yeah, I, I think okay. I did. So let's. <laughs> let's <laughs> we got, there we go. There's oh. there's just table settings, and oh, I think huh. can you see the the shoe on the table? Yes, I do. Nice, <laughs> that little centerpiece. That's cute. Very fancy shoe. If you can give me a match to that in a nine. Oh. And here's uh, yeah, <laughs> and here's Louise there's Whittingham Louise, on the left. Yes. Yes. Um, who uh, is the president of the board now? Was she modeling? She not this year, but she did last year. She decided she has enough going on this year. Oh, I can understand that. that. Yep. And these gentlemen um, wore tuxes were they? from Mr. Tuxedo. Oh, so they were the models also. Yes, they actually escorted the oh, ladies, this? the ladies oh, in their lovely. evening wear. So that oh, was how extremely nice. cool. I like that. And they work in the building. Oh, is that us. right? Oh, cool. Yeah. And this is, this is Greg Matthews. Oh, representative. Yeah. Uh, that would be him behind. Who, that is him front. behind yeah. the He's, model. I was going to say, let's not mix these two <laughs> He up. was our MC last oh, year. wonderful. Yeah. Do you know yet who it is this year? We, it is not not a celebrity this okay. year. And um, so this is Donna Eckford. Um, I absolutely love this picture. That is cute. So total attitude, ready for yeah. the rain, ready for anything. <laughs> she says, I am a model. <laughs> yeah, that's cute. And a group shot. Ah, uh, yes. Anyway. That's cute. Yeah, fun. I think I think that may be all I brought. You all look like you have too much fun. <laughs> so the fundraiser, um, so it's, it's a lunch also. It's a lunch yes. and a fashion show. It's a wonderful show. lunch. It's a, a chicken Caesar salad and lentil mm, soup and dessert and bread and, and you know, that sounds drinks. Good. And what about the fashions? Where are they provided? They are yeah. from Glass Butterfly oh, I wondered if they and the Dress Glass Barn Butterf oh, okay, good. and Norma Jean's Closet. This year, she that that's a resale shop. I was going to say that's consignment. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they're gonna they're gonna. Oh, great! We got a model coming for that. That's, Good. Uh, yeah. Good. That'll be fun. So that is on the fourteenth at eleven thirty. Starts at eleven thirty. Okay. Tickets available at the senior center. Ten dollars only. Okay. Um, all right. Well then, uh, the, the other thing you had. There was another thing you had coming up um, in November, I think it was. Yes, first of November. That's our actual our actual annual fundraiser. Um, happens the first of. That's a Friday night. And if there's a prize, you can't say it on TV. So <laughs> I'm warning you now. What? Which? 
You can't say the prices on the TV. It's community access. Oh, I'm so oh, sorry I see. about that. Oh, okay. <laughs> but if they want information on it, they can probably call you yes, or go to your website. Because yes. you have a good website now. We do. We have yeah. a wonderful website. You didn't have one for a long time. That's true. We had someone develop it for us last year. Yeah. and uh, We were still in development, of course. Well, they're always in um, development. We're, all, we're I was, learning. I was happy to see you got one. <laughs> yeah. Um, so this one is, this fundraiser is? So we're calling it Mixed Nuts. It's kind of a variety show concept. And um, there's a wonderful like storyteller, Will Hornyak, who has agreed to headline for us. And is he, have he, you seen him? Is he good? Yes, he's fabulous. He's an extraordinary, he's an extraordinary storyteller. He tells oh. um, silly stories and myths and true stories about the history of the region. Oh. And he also sings. And a little bit of everything. Just, yeah. People love him of all ages. Good. Love good. Him. So this event will be, it's in the evening, so is there food or is it? Uh, yes, there, th we're calling it a light supper. Okay. And it's being provided by Gresham Manor. Oh, nice. Who's another one of our community yeah, all the little senior partners. Living, uh, groups. Yeah. Kind of working with you. I bet you have a lot of good partners in the community. We do, and it's been wonderful in the last couple of years. Um, they provide food at no cost to us. Nice. And so That's all the profit, nice. all the profit from the fundraisers, we come to you. We right. get to realize. Right. We're almost out of time. Um, so tell me, um, tell me something about the senior center that I don't know. Oh, let's um, see. What well, you mean? What's in the little here. corners of the or the deep dark secrets? Deep dark secrets. <laughs> there are actually deep are dark there? secrets. You bet. You bet. Um, it depends on who you talk to. But I probably have to go down there to find out. Yeah, we hear we hear stories for, of things that go. It, it, we have seniors who are delightful, and we have seniors who feel that they have lived long enough that they can do and say anything they want and get away with it. And you know what? They can. They can. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. You're right. Well, thanks for being on, Joyce. I appreciate it. <laughs> Thank and, you, um, Monica. So if people are interested in attending either of these fundraisers or if they just want to check out the Senior Center, go come to your website or come on down and check it out. Yep. Come see me. Okay. Thanks so very much. Thank you. Thanks for watching this first segment of Community Hotline. Don't go away. We'll right, uh, be right back with Brenda Morgan from the Sisters of the Road. Community media is priceless. Valuable. Community media lets you tell your story to fit your needs. My favorite thing about community media is it's got to be the people's shows. Mm, I think my favorite one is Karaoke Oli. Oh, Karaoke Oli is yes. a good one. We sing live karaoke on TV for an hour. Hamster vs. Monster. Nap time with kittens. Community media brings programming like Chambers of Commerce, The Faith Community. Psycho Chicken. Do you have any UFO shows? No, I wish we did. I, I would like one of those too. Yeah. Children's programs, high school sporting events, and of course, the ubiquitous city council meetings. Only when we hear from folks in their own voices with their own stories can we truly connect.